This man here disrespects me. He's a dog killer. This man here disrespects me. He's a dog killer. Shut up, Josh. Shut up. That is why Africans travel to UK. Africans travel to Europe and they are forced to, to, to accept your lifestyle. If they don't accept your lifestyle, you will deport them. You understand? A lot of things you would do over there are unacceptable to Africans. We don't like it. But what do we have? We are in your land. So we shut up and then we manage it with you. The same way when you come here, you are also in Ghana. You need to shut up and go along with our lifestyle. We travel all the way from your country. You come to Ghana here. You want to show people what is right and what is wrong. <laughs> your country, killing a dog is it's offensive and it's, it's, it's something you can go to jail for that. But in Ghana here, it's different. You travel from your country, you come to Ghana. This is Ghana, man. <laughs> yes, in some parts of Ghana, people eat dogs. They kill it and eat it. First of all, as a Muslim, I don't eat dogs. We don't kill dogs. We don't uh, uh, eat pork. We don't kill uh, pigs too. American hey, confront. Hey, hey. Dog make try. You think it's funny? You think it's funny to disrespect me, don't you? You know what I'm going to do? You know what I'm going to do? I'm going to make you famous. I'm going to let everybody know that you're taking this dog home to kill this dog. And you disrespect me. You disrespect me. Let me let everybody know. One of the behavior I want to really commend in this video is the man's reaction. He was just smiling throughout. He was laughing at him. Oh, this man here disrespects me. He's a dog killer. You disrespect me. I know you don't care, but guess what? You're not going to do anything about it. That poor dog right there has a soul. That poor dog there has a soul and you're going to go kill it and eat it. You're a joke. Every animal has a soul, but you eat pork, you eat beef, you eat chicken. Don't chickens have soul? <laughs> you disrespect me and I'm nice to everybody here. You disrespect me I'm, and, and I'm nice to everybody. So what is he doing? He's doing an emotional blackmail, trying to get people feel pity of him and then turn anger on that person. You disrespect me and you have an attitude. You, you I know. The world knows that you're a dog killer. How about yeah, that? Yeah, I'm a dog killer. You're a dog killer. Yes. Yeah, now I'll get out of here. Yeah. Or do something about it. Scumbag. This guy's a dog killer right here. Everybody post this to everybody to see. This man disrespected me and I'm in this country. I offered triple for that dog. What the shit? This guy's got nerves, you know? You come to someone's country, go to the person's region, and go and tell the person that you have an attitude. You disrespect me and you're a dog killer. And get out of here. You come to someone's country, go to his region, and you go and be telling him how he should live his life. Man, this, these people have to be careful, you know? That these people have to be careful. So that's why some of the things, nobody uh, uh, justifies bad things that happen to foreigners somewhere. But when you go to somewhere, humble yourself. Know that you can't be the one to dictate people's life. That, those people there, they eat dogs. It's not the only person who, who kills dogs and eats. Those people at that region of Ghana, they eat dogs. And eating dogs is one of their distance. That is why in Ghana we make fun of them. We say, oh, no matter how a dog is stubborn, not on this people's market day or market. You can dog cannot be joking in this people's market. You understand? So you can even if you go and uh, invite the whole world to come and arrest him, they have to come and arrest the entire tribe, entire region of people because he's not the only person. You understand? So it doesn't make sense. He, on the other hand, I think is very arrogant, very disrespectful to people, and very. Um, and wise and very inconsiderate about himself his lifestyle and if he does not take care and he goes around the world trying to tell people what to do it it it, it really affect him I, I hope you understand so to you roaming around the world touring the world go moving wherever when you go and you see people's lifestyle no, uh, just know that that is their lifestyle that is why Africans travel to UK Africans travel to Europe and they are forced to to, to accept your lifestyle if they don't accept your lifestyle you will deport them you understand a lot of things you would do over there are unacceptable to Africans we don't like it but what do we have we are in your land so we shut up and then we manage with you the same way when you come here you are also in Ghana you need to shut up and go along with our lifestyle so open your mind open your brain and learn how to live with love Salam alaikum wa rahmatullahi wa barakatuh. Huna marru wa kanu qudwa tallin.